Now, more of CJ's On The Verge. Brought to you by itscanadian.com. Your entertainment source without the syrup. Evening, I'm Stone Malone. I had a chance to see my guest tonight last year at the uh, at the Stampede on the Coca-Cola stage. And I happened to stumble upon them quite by accident. But uh, two hours later, I was freaking energized. These guys rocked hard, and, they, uh, and they're allowed to. And their musicianship... Above all, was over the top. Uh, they blew onto the rock scene a few years back with The Oaf, and now they're back with 16 new tracks. This is Big Wreck from their brand new album, The Pleasure and the Greed. It's in stores tomorrow. It's right now on The Verge, Calgary's Best Rock, CJ92. Calgary's Best Rock, CJ92, and that's Inhale from, uh, from Big Wreck. Inhaling what, exactly? Uh, it's not a necessarily, uh, you know, a, a, a nasty reference. Uh, <laughs> okay. It can be, it can be perceived as one of those kind of, uh, you know, walks in the country and inhaling fresh air. You know, <laughs> <laughs> let's let's just keep telling ourselves that. <laughs> And those voices that you hear are, uh, we have Ian Thornley, the front man for Big Rack in with us tonight, also uh, drummer Forrest Williams. All right, the new CD is called The Pleasure and the Greed, uh, and I got a look at the CD the other day, uh, the cover, it looks like a yeah. chaotic feast happening there. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It was a, that was a, that was a, that was a blast to do. I, I think it was like a 30, it must have been 30 feet long, the table. Yeah, a couple of, a couple of pigs with the apples. Yeah. You know. I mean, it was, it was just... They were kind of gross, but... It was fun, but it was gross. It was, and the lobsters started to smell halfway through the shoot. So I, 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 and they I sprayed just, them with Lysol. Yeah, they sprayed them with Lysol. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. It was nasty. And uh, there was a pair of uh, salt and pepper shakers there, too, with uh, boobs. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Those actually like that, that, those, that salt and pepper shaker uh, thing actually belongs to my dad. Oh, cool. Yeah. Now, as I mentioned uh, in the intro... There's 16 songs in this CD. You guys are feeling generous this time around. Yeah. Well, it's also it's it's because it's been so long uh, since the last record. I kind of figured it it, it it made the most sense to just kind of really give people something like you know, give them their money's worth. And if they're gonna go out and buy a CD, they might as well get 16 good cuts as opposed to you know one okay one and 11 not okay ones. <laughs> Al, Ian, you uh, you also play the uh, banjo on this one. Uh, yeah, kind of. You kind of? Is that new? <laughs> is that new talent? No, it's not. You've always it's, no, it's kind of. It's pretty much the same philosophy as a guitar. It's mm -hmm. not. It's not. It's nothing. You know. And I, I, I kind of cheated the, the banjo on it. It's kind of like a, it's kind of a banjo guitar. So, oh. you know, it was kind of. It, it sounded like there's some banjo on on some of the other songs, like some real banjo. But even that, I just retune it and I, I kind of cheat. <laughs> now, I was reading in your bio the other day as well, and uh, checking up on you guys. You said that you wanted to challenge challenge rather your uh, your listener on this one. Yeah. Um, well, I, I, I guess in a way. I mean, that's kind of what's inevitably going to happen when you give them 16 songs. And, you know, we kind of stretch them as far as they can go, each one, you know. And, and each one has been un uh, underneath the rolling pin for quite a while now. And we've sort of stretched them and thinned them out as far as we possibly could and then rolled them up and made them big and fat again. Right. Sorry about that. I don't want to know. Now, the uh, the debut album, that was called In Loving Memory Of. There was, uh, well, I, I got to ask you this, that was a hugely successful uh, album, debut album. Um, mm -hmm. So was there any pressure this time around to, uh, you know, to try and match that? Did uh, you guys feel any pressure? Did the record company, did anybody? No, I, you know, there probably was some, but mm -hmm. but I, I don't think we felt it at all. We were just so, so involved in the making of the record that we never, you know, and we're just going to get soaked up in writing and playing and writing and playing and recording and that whole thing. Mm -hmm. You don't even really notice anything else. It doesn't, and, and you know what? It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Uh, and at the end of the day, it's, it's we, what we want to do is put out a great rock, rock and roll record. Yeah. And any kind of pressure that's implied or otherwise is not really an issue. The songwriting itself, I mean, you're the, you're the chief songwriter? Yeah. Safe to say that? Mm -hmm. uh, the other guys... Uh, Always, obviously, have some influences, and probably along the way, over the last uh, uh, few years of touring, everybody picks up influences here and there, and, and new talents and yeah. stuff like that. So, 
all comes to the table when uh, when it was time to make the pleasure and the greed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Forrest. Yeah, I mean, Ian's. Uh, you know, he, he does the lion's share share of the uh, the writing, um, and then he brings it to us, and uh, we put our we put our uh, our our little flavor into it, you know, and uh, make it a big wreck thing, and uh, you know, that's about it. How's the sandwich? Is everything all right? The egg, the egg sandwich, it's delicious. Boys, I don't have to polish my <laughs> egg salad sandwiches. The egg and they're closed to room, so that could mean trouble, actually. <laughs> Uh, oh boy. <laughs> uh, Scott Thornley. Now, obviously, there's a relation there. This guy is the uh, art design on the new CD. Yeah, it's my pop. That's your father? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm Stone Malone. I'm in studio tonight with uh, Big Wreck, the members, uh, frontman Ian Thornley, and also uh, drummer Forrest Williams. Let's go back to the CD. It's called The Pleasure and the Greed, and we're going to hear Ladylike in just mm -hmm. a moment. Any, any history you want to tell us about this track? Uh... Well, it's the one with the banjo in it. Ah, right. You know. uh, it's a real, a kind of a departure for us, but not not that far out of Big Wreck, I think. As on the whole, it's pretty, it still rocks. It certainly does. Here so, it is. Let's take a listen to it. It's called Ladylike from Big Wreck on the Verge, Calgary's Best Rock, CJ92. Best Rock CJ92. That's Breakthrough from Big Wreck. The new CD is called Pleasure and Greed. You can pick that up in stores tomorrow. It is uh, It hits stores tomorrow, I should say. My name is Stone Malone, and I'm in studio tonight with frontman Ian Thornley and drummer Forrest Williams. The CD produced uh, by yourself and uh, and uh, and Dave Jordan. Yeah, uh, it's pretty much all. Uh, most of it's produced by Dave Jordan. Some of it's co-produced by me. And, you know, What's his story? Uh... <clears throat> He's a big time LA guy, you know. Yeah. We 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 did that whole spiel. Went down to LA and cut uh, cut uh, four, fourteen or fifteen songs. Um, and then uh, it wasn't quite. I, I I wasn't done, you know. I I still I kept writing. And so when I got home, I said, "Well, we got time. We got a little bit of money left. Let's mm -hmm. go in the studio again." And so we went and we went to the studio in Toronto and uh, flew up a. A good friend of ours and a, and a, a talented guy, uh, John Wynott, to to work with us on on, on that. Mm -hmm. I think four four of the songs on the record are, are from those sessions, and, and the rest of them are from L.A. Right. Uh, speaking of L.A., you guys <clears throat> all packed your bags and moved down there uh, from Boston, right? Uh, we don't or, live there. We oh, you don't live there? Oh, cool. We, we were living there for... Hell no. <laughs> during the album. <laughs> Absolutely not. But I ain't staying there, man. Yeah. No, thank you. Elliot is one sorry it's place. The, it being sunny every day and perfect every day, it's it's great for a while, and, and it just it gets weird after a while. Yeah, I've never been. <laughs> I, I, honestly, I, I've never been to L.A., but I've, I've heard two sides of the coin on it. Some guys that I work with here say they'd love yeah. to live there. Others Ooh, say, yeah. take it. It's one. Get rid of it. Yeah, yeah, two different types of people. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's I think it's kind of creepy, personally. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, do we have any? Uh, you guys been on the road promoting the uh, first album? You were just you, you went really hard. You you uh, you uh, you toured your brains out. Yeah. Um, and I'm wondering, uh, do you have any good uh, any road stories? Any semi dirty road stories? Oh, hundreds. We had uh, hundreds. None, none of which we can well, tell. We'll tell our the show for an hour. Oh, yeah. tell, tell everyone about the contortionist. Oh man. no, we can't. We can see. see we, we, did, can't. Just, no, we can't. No, it's the go to the road. What happens on the road stays on the road. We can't. But we did have it's one. the rule, man. I can't. I can't break it. It was amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> there were cameras involved. I wish Magic markers. TV. Cameras, sharpies. Oh how? Yeah. You know. no, just hey. That's enough. <laughs> Her name was. Oh, cut it out, man. Sorry. I'll eat my my rest of my egg salad sandwich that I got up at the cafeteria it's here. Not a, it's not an egg sandwich. It's an egg salad. Well, it's sandwich. very good. That's it's an egg salad sandwich. It's very good. It comes in this little plastic container here. I got my diet Pepsi. <laughs> 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 and I get stuck with a head of lettuce. So I don't know. Anyway, uh, let me ask you this: What's in your CD player these days? What are you listening to? Any either either one of you guys? Um, the new Big Rec album's kicking. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> um, Slim Shady. 
Eminem. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I like Perfect Circle. Okay. Yeah, I, I really dig that record. I think it's a great record. Mm -hmm. And I, I was just thinking about uh, that. What is that? The garbage. Garbage. Yeah. They had that one song. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of my favorite songs of all time. So, so that too. Okay. But not that I own it or listen to it, but when I hear it, I crank it. No Tommy Hunter at all. Pardon me. No Tommy. Hunter? <laughs> Pardon me. You never heard of Tommy Hunter? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <coughs> Canadian Gordon Lightfoot. <laughs> Lots of Gordon Lightfoot. <laughs> Uh, here's a question. you better take care Brings me back. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Brings me back. Calgary's still your favorite place to play? Oh, absolutely. The, the, the ladies are so sweet. Yeah. The best. Good answer. <laughs> Last time I was here, I got a, I think a, wasn't I um, hypnotized? Wasn't that here? I think that was a contortionist trip. What are you wasn't talking it? about, man? Uh -huh. I don't think you've ever been hypnotized. No, I don't think you were there. Anyway. Well, then, then it wasn't then it wasn't a big wreck show. That was cool. That <laughs> <laughs> was after the show. All right, let's go back to the you CD. No, it was. It was. It was, it was, it was, that, it was that. It was that gig that you're talking about. Oh yeah, the Coca-Cola yeah, stage. Yeah, you got hypnotized after the show. Or oh, there was a guy I who was, did that after the show. After our show. I was hanging out with the contortionist, and, he was, and they made me do it. Getting hypnotized. They made me do it. <laughs> you got on stage and was hypnotized. As soon as he got to the part where it's like, pretend you're in an orchestra, and he was like, "You're playing the trumpet." <laughs> I'm like. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm like, out of here. It didn't work? Yeah, he lets you go after he sees that you're not into it. He's just like, okay, you can leave. <laughs> Again, uh, too much information. Don't, right? don't talk with your mouth full, man. We're on the radio. It's pretty nasty. Well, while they're having a ch uh, chow down here, let's go back to the CD once again. And uh, here's one called No Fault from Big Rack on the Verge, Calgary's Best Rock, CJ92. <laughs> Calgary's Best Rock, CJ92, that's Big Rack. The new CD is called The uh, Pleasure and the Greed. And we're going to have it in stores tomorrow uh, in studio tonight with frontman Ian Thornley and drummer Forrest Williams. We're almost oh, wrapping this up. Just want to ask you guys, uh, the CD's in stores tomorrow. We're going to expect some more touring from you guys this summer, I would take mm -hmm. it. Yeah. The hell's in that XL anyway. Slow. Just turn off his mic. All right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right. Thanks All a lot. Right,